Uh, good morning, Natalie. Finishing late or starting early? Starting early. <laughs> God, I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> I should have put these out last night. The princess does yoga first thing on a Friday, but then her lunch with Lady Franklin got changed from Thursday, so I thought today was tomorrow, and then I had to try Yeah, get... bored now. Huh. Are you cold? Or oh, you're shaking? Yeah. Thank God. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love you. <gasps> We've shaken hands 16 times. Did you know that? When you see me, I think. Not again. Can I touch you again? No. Mum. Get home. Mum, get out now! Help! Help! Please! Yes, sir. In her bedroom, her bloody bedroom. I'm relieved the princess is unharmed. I mean, if he got any closer, can you imagine? He might have touched her. Awful, and then, sir. Yeah, poor bastard. Would have been frozen to a block of ice. He's back. Oh, yeah. Sir, yeah, I, I do need to... imagine uh, 20 footmen all chiseling away with ice picks. Sir! Last night, sir, what I did was inexcusable. I don't know what came over me. I think I was rather tired and emotional, um, but to have crossed the line like that, sir, to have... Kissed me? Kissed you. Yes, sir, well, obviously now my position is untenable. I can't serve you what properly. What are you saying? I, I'm offering you my resignation, sir. No, don't be ridiculous. Sir, it's not negotiable. All right, stop. Look, it's just a kiss. It meant nothing to me. It was, you know, just a weird, out-there moment. If I had any feelings for you which affected you serving me, then you know what? Fine, right, we should discuss it. But I look at you and I just see a member of my staff. Thank you, sir. Right. So that's it, yeah? Yeah. Good. Yeah, and, uh, look, let's not discuss this again, because it's... Well, it's really weird. You're a lousy kisser, by the way. Thank you, sir. Here we go. Sir? Oh, I'm moving my sister from Clarence House into the palace until she feels safe. Good morning. Evelyn. I can't believe it. <laughs> Rich, no, Rich, stop it. I can't. No, honestly, I'm fine. And this is Linen. Hello, Ellie. Great to see you finally get a man into your bed. Oh, and uh, that moment of physical contact is called a kiss. There's no need to call the police. Yes, and it makes a change from getting your PPOs to force girls into your bedroom, doesn't it, Georgie? Hmm, nice one. Are you all right? Oh, what are you talking about? Simon, look after her and make yourselves at home. Stay as long as you want. We will. Well, I think Alice is simply divine. A breath of fresh air, ma'am. And she's gorgeous, isn't she? Even I'm rather smitten. So? Here it comes. Well, it might not be the worst idea in the world if you two were to be seen out together. Regularly. You want me to pretend Alice is my girlfriend? You wouldn't have to pretend, sir. The press can come to their own conclusions. It would be nice to enjoy some good publicity for a change. Is Alice OK with this? She's thrilled to bits. If I go out with him, then the press are going to think we're a couple. Alice, it's front page heaven. It's 14 covers of a low magazine. And you look good together. 
Play it right and you could be set up for life. Play it right. Don't kiss and tell. I didn't know there would be any kissing. Well, I'm just an old romantic. And there was me thinking this was just the palace desperately trying to improve the king's PR. <laughs> Is Richard okay with this? He's thrilled to bits. No, no, no. He said you'd be happy. He said it was all sorted. Who said what? Major Brooks. He and the princess have moved into the palace after... the thing. So, he's hot desking. He needs an office desperately. Hold on. You're moving Simon into my office. He said you'd be thrilled. Ta-da! We have a problem. Hmm? I don't know what to do with all these flowers. Hmm. The public adore you more than ever. Oh. I'm just their humble servant. There are calls to increase your personal security. I refuse. Should play well. Oh, they'll increase them anyway. Good. They bloody well should. I'll organise some interviews. Show everybody how brave you were. Yeah. The heroic princess single-handedly fought off well, the Well, my dresser was there. Well, sure. You were the one who took the lead. You saved her, yes? Well... Mm. I mean, yes, basically, yes. What? Your Majesty. Eleanor. Mummy. Major Brooks. You both seem very... at home. Can I help you with anything? No, no. Just wanted to check in. Let you know I'm here. Now, tell me about this secret book. Uh, well... I'm working. And now that I'm actually here in the palace, I'll be able to have a proper snoop. I must say, all this has worked out rather well for us. I know. Shame I can't have an intruder break in every week, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Simon. I heard you had him on the floor. I heard he was huge. Was he? Huge. <laughs> I remember. Pretty huge. <laughs> I bet she gives you something. Something? Matt's gonna be dripping in diamonds. The princess. Well, wow. you saved her life. Look, there's an official statement coming out soon. Until then, we're not really saying anything, are we? Sorry. Stop it. Come on, Neil, when's the stag? Oh, is your one the hen? Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh. there is no stag. There's just going to be a quiet wedding for me and Rob. I haven't got time for all the fuss. Yeah, well, the king's going to be dead jealous. You, having another fella. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie? Yeah, that's right. We're in Buckingham Palace, but he can't find a spare office. Well, Abigail, uh, when you have a moment. No, Ian, please, just carry on as if I wasn't here, really. Fine. Abigail, bump Princess Eleanor from the King James Memorial Hospital opening, would you please? Yes, Ian. Who's replacing her? Alice Templeton. His Majesty's keen to be seen out with her. They make a wonderful couple, don't you think? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, help her to settle in, get her anything she needs. I have a good feeling about them. Nice to see you, Simon. Ian. <laughs> next hey you were great out there really good sorry sir we have to wait here for a moment bit of a cock-up Abigail not again yes thank you sir it's their mess the chairman was virtually suicidal on the phone so rushing across as we speak so you've done nothing wrong his name is David Fitz. Not the tiniest little... and you met him at the export awards ceremony in July last year yeah yeah come on can I just blame you anyway well 
sir, I do love to hear you mule. Mule? Yes, sir. It means. <laughs> yeah, I know what it means. Mr. Fisk. Royal Highness. Mm. Just going to lay out the clothes for your afternoon engagement. The Stella McCartney launch, ma'am. I have a cold. Right. It's nothing. Come on, Natalie, let's, let's have a natter. Ma'am, sit. Oh, please relax. I thought we could just kick our shoes off. You'd like me to take my shoes off? No, no, I don't mean that. Um, how are you? Yeah, OK, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was quite an ordeal. Yeah. It was mad. Are you OK now, Mum? No. Well, you know, at the time you were... Well, it was crazy. I mean, I'd have been the same, terrified. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> now, Natalie, Mr Bayfield visited me. He thought the public would be so reassured if we said we fought off the intruder between us. Well, we didn't. You were too scared to move. Yes, 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 and you and I know that. But he wants it to be our secret. So we would tell the world we worked as a team. Team? A team. You and I. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> the A-team. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the A-team. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I was given flowers, five teddy bears, a bottle of perfume and a bra. A bra? Hey, I bet you keep it. <gasps> you keep it, you little purr. <laughs> it's your majesty, the purr, if you don't mind. <laughs> what are you up to now? Uh, we've got the Archbishop of Canterbury, sir. Oh, great. Well, I could hang about. Oh, he can go on for ages. Can't he, sir? Is he here now? Yep, on his way up. Yeah, all right, OK. I'm sorry, Miss Templeton. Should I try and arrange another appointment with His Majesty? I'll call you. Yeah. Hey, it was fun today. Well, I was great. You stiff as an old board. <laughs> Cheeky cow. See you later. All right, wheel him in. Wheeling all the way, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Oh, Fatty, hello. Your Royal Highness, I hear you had quite a scare. Who said that? No, I, it looked terrifying from what I read in the papers. Oh, well, we all know how silly the comics can be. I mean, they think you and the King are an item. <laughs> oh, yeah, crazy. <laughs> Still, I'm sure you're being frightfully useful till the next stunner wanders into his life. You don't mind, do you? <sighs> don't worry about me, Ellie. I'll be fine. And I'm really looking forward to accompanying Rich to the opening of that memorial hospital. Take care of yourself, OK? You look a little bit peaky. Hmm. The Dean of Westminster will take the ampulla and spoon from the altar. Interesting aside, Your Majesty, the ampulla dates, in all probability, from the time of Henry IV. And we suspect that the ancient anointing spoon was made for the coronation of King John in 1199. Whereas now, you, you know, you buy stuff. You're lucky if it'll last a couple of years, are you? The Dean will pour some oil into the spoon. And with it, I shall anoint you in the form of the cross. I shall start with the palms of your hands. I shall say... Why? We begin with the hands... No, I mean, why do all this? It is the demonstration of God's choice of you as king. Yeah. That's the bit where it all gets a bit supernatural, isn't it? Forgive me, Your Majesty, supernatural? Well, I'm just saying, you know, other countries separate state and religion, Your and Majesty. I sort of wonder whether the only separation we achieve by this constant deification of the role is between me and the people. With respect, it is not the coronation that separates you from the people. God did that. Neil?
Is it time to get ready? Oh, Your Majesty, Your Grace. Uh, no, sir, there's no rush. Oh, good. How are the wedding plans going? Uh, yes, very well, thank you, sir. Uh, Neil's getting married this weekend. Congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Uh, well, actually, this is just a little... I mean, it's only really a small, not even small, minuscule, I'd say. His name's Robert. It's a gay wedding. <laughs> it should be great. I'm looking forward to it. Sir? Your Majesty? Well, ne Neil's practically family. Well, you're not saying now that I'm king I can't go to a gay wedding. Well, I do think... Fantastic. That... It'll be great. Won't it, Neil? Yes, sir. The king coming to my wedding. Unbelievable. I see commemorative mugs matching tea towels. Wedding dress by Alexander McQueen. <laughs> Am I the only one just a little bit worried of buying a hat before the king actually shows any interest in this arranged marriage of yours? Abigail, the Honourable Miss Alice Templeton, is pulling us out of the mire. Just enjoy it. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, Mr Cronk, thank you for getting back to me so soon. You're the man who prints the balloons, am I right? Yeah, I need about 300. Uh, certainly, the names are Rob and Neil. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'll repeat that. It's Rob and Neil. I tell you, it's amazing. It's like we know what each other's thinking. We finish off each other's sentences, stuff like that. Have you? Ruby, we're a team. <clears throat> Don't you ever do any work in here? When I get the chance. <laughs> so how's your day? I'm living in a wonderland. How's yours? Well, yeah. the princess isn't firing on all cylinders today. Bless. I did find out something interesting. Really? Our uh, mole in the palace. You know the one right in the book? It's not a Lady Clark, and it's not a footman. It's a uh, higher up. So I've heard. What else have you heard? Oh, not much. But where did you hear it from? I've just got this little inside man. I've got the name of the publisher, Withouse Lang. Shouldn't be too difficult to find the editor. And now that I'm here in the palace, I'm going to get him. What do you think? Yeah. Of course you will. It was like Charlie's Angels, us against him. She's Cameron Diaz, I'm Drew Ballamore. They're doing the big statement right now. Princess Eleanor awoke to find the intruder, who has since been named as Thomas Armstrong of no fixed abode, standing at the end of her bed. There was a struggle during which Princess Eleanor managed to subdue Mr Armstrong long enough for her personal security to arrive and arrest him. The palace were keen to stress that Princess Eleanor was shaken but otherwise unharmed That's not... and anxious to get back to her royal duties. She didn't even mention me. Internal investigation has now begun. That's not what happened, you idiot. It wasn't like that. So, Hi. do you want a coffee? They do all sorts of things. You rang in a panic. Are you OK? They're on to me. The palace? Yeah, they know about the deal. You're fine. I don't feel fine. I'm stopping. I can't. What's this? A cheque for the advance. I'm paying you back. <sighs> Sweetie, forget about the money. Tell me what's happened. When you came to me, things were very different. I was angry with him, and I thought that if I wrote the truth, then I'd show them, teach them a lesson about the way they think, stop them being so arrogant. But now he's king. He's... I'll just hurt him, and I can't see the point. Well, I suppose the point is the taxpayer wants to know. The ones that keep them in silk and linen. 
I don't and see. And I suppose the other point is that I've syndicated the rise across the world. I've got TV spin-offs, newspaper serializations, film offers. So the point is that little old Anne here wants the book. And I'll sue you for every penny you ever earn for the rest of your life if you try to back out. Now, you haven't actually sent me a single word yet, and that's starting to piss me off. So 5,000 words. Email them over tonight. You won't make me chase you all around the palace tomorrow, will you? <laughs> Darling, are you heading out? Mm, just going to raid the kitchens. Why aren't you having something sent up? I don't know. Just fancy stretching my legs. Yes, you are a bit cooped up here, aren't you, darling? No. I'm sure you'd be happier back at Clarence House. Did you see Richard and Alice at the film premiere tonight? What a couple they make. <laughs> well, I mustn't keep you from your binges. See you soon, darling. How's the premiere? Fine. The film sucked. Uh, no, I, I love the film. What? What does the king think of me? He thinks you're great. You talk to him about me? Hardly. Oh, come on, you're mates. I've seen you always laughing together. Well, I'm just a member of his staff. When we're in the middle of a crowd and everyone's screaming and he's laughing, he looks at me as if I really am. As if he really does. Listen, can you arrange some time for me when there isn't a bloody photographer there? Give me a chance to, you know. What? Nothing. I'll see what I can arrange. Because I was told you'd help. I will, of course. So what's the problem? Nothing. You think I'm not right for him? Sorry, my mind was on other things. Yeah, you do. You're looking at I'm me like... really not. Yeah, you're looking at me like I have to get through you to get to him. What's that about? Ladies? OK, so we've got a visit to Regent's Park Mosque coming up, which obviously has some religious and political sensitivities to it. Alice, come on. You can't help me with this. Of course I can. It's my job. No, there's something. You know something, or he's told you something about me. There's or... nothing. Abigail, hi, sorry. I've got someone. Not now. Was... What? She says Lucy, dirt. please, take a message, will you? OK, look, tomorrow the King's valet is getting married. There's a press embargo on the event, so it is public, but it's not for the cameras. You can be his plus one. <sighs> it's hardly alone, is it? You'll get to spend the whole afternoon with him. I'll suggest to him that it'll be good for the gossip columnists, and you can spend time together without him waving and smiling for everyone else. How's that sound? Can I take a message? OK. Thanks. Great. Anne Featherstone from Whithouse Lang Publishers. Anything for me? Find your own, Lady Clark. You ready? <laughs> okay, now they all think this limo's the coolest thing ever and that you're completely bloody delighted, so uh, let's see the smile. 
the <laughs> Come on. <laughs> If I ever get married, I'd like it to be just like this. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so? There's a moment in the coronation service when the, uh, it's the archbishop, he anoints me with oil, and he says, be thou anointed, blessed and consecrated king over the peoples whom the Lord thy God hath given thee to rule and govern. Chosen by God? Am I really that different? Well, you're not exactly normal. Yeah, thanks. No, it's just... It's just that God bit. I mean, really? Are you telling me that you don't believe in God? Okay, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> what, I can't have doubts? What's wrong with that? You don't believe in God. Fine. You're Supreme Governor to the Church of England. Just... Yeah, OK, it's a bit... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this where you've hidden him away? Oh, no, not hidden, just we were... Are you enjoying it? Loving it. Yeah. Miss Templeton, would you like a drink? Oh, no, you go on. Have some time with your mates. When I get back there, I'm going to sort her out. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why the statement said that. The princess thanked me, why would you do that? Maybe she thought you were upset because you just stood there and watched her. Oh, she was the one. When I got in there, she was frozen. It's really cool you came. I feel like all I ever see of you these days is the back of your very nicely tailored jacket. Well, they are very fine jackets, aren't they? I like the whole package. Yeah, it's all carefully put together, perfectly manufactured. Rich. Sometimes you just want to stop pretending, you know? Say what you think and screw the consequences. I, I thought you wanted me to stop pretending. Sorry to bother you, Mum, but I need to talk to you about that news report. I mean, it, it said that you did it on your own, and, and now everybody's laughing at me. And we agreed. You said... Mum, he's dead. Oh. Mr Armstrong, the man that was at the end of my bed, he killed himself in his cell. Bloody hell. He said he loved me. I'm such a freak. I work and I work to make it all look perfect. And then they come off to me and they cut their wrists to pieces. <laughs> Stupid word. Princess. Because it makes people think you're a fairy tale. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so exhausted, I can't do it anymore. You know that we all love you. <laughs> but I'm totally alone. I'm, I, and I, and I'm a mess, and I, I want to be queen, and it would be a thousand times worse if I was. 
He was just mad, and, and you, you don't have to be alone, and you don't have to be perfect. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Major Brooks. Oh, how did you guess? <laughs> well, you're in the background of all of Princess Eleanor's photos, looking serious, pouting. I pout. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, um, I have this idea for a book. Her Royal Highness looking sensational in the palace, Balmoral Sandringham. Profits going to one of her charitable trusts. What do you think? We'd be delighted, but you've got the wrong girl. I'm more words than pictures, but I can put you in touch with someone. Oh, it's, it's just that uh, Abigail knows you. Abigail Thomas, the King's assistant private secretary, have I? Uh, I don't think. What was the name again? It's, um, it's Abigail Thomas. You'd know her if you met her. <sighs> well, not me. Never heard of her. Hi. You OK? Never better. Lucy? Yep. I need to brief Miss Templeton about an issue with an oncologist and the NHS cuts. Can you drag her in, please? Right away. What? Nothing. Sorry. I found out who the editor is, by the way. Some woman called Anne Featherston. Right. Do you know her? Me? No, why? Oh, you know. You know everyone. Oh, yeah, I move and shake. Lucy? You ran tonight. Sorry, it's the hospital opening and I really need to be here until he returns. Lucy? Yeah, sure. Lucy? Sorry, I've got to go. It's cool, it's fine. His Majesty was at a film premiere last night, but who he was with. The Honourable Miss Alice Templeton has now been seen on His Majesty's arm on two separate public engagements. Ma'am? And I have heard... Have you seen the papers? Present at the opening of the yes, ma'am. Ma uh, laughable. I, I thought Look I might... Look at the papers. They all think it's bloody hilarious. And I'm trying very, very hard to keep it all together, and you've just... You're just... What are you doing? Why are you here? What's your latest genius master plan, Major Brooks? Nothing, ma'am. I'm very sorry to have disturbed you. My dresser, Natalie... She won't do. She gets the clothes so wrong. Her own sense of style is non-existent. She doesn't get me at all. Get rid of her? Yes, ma'am. I'm running out of clothes. <laughs> No problem. Go to Harvey Nicks, go crazy and bring me the receipts. I'll pass them on to the keeper of the privy purse. OK, thanks. Abby, how did you know that he didn't really like me? I didn't. What's happened? What hasn't he told you yet? I thought you two would have been... I don't understand. I'm so right for him. I mean, the, his mother thinks so, the press thinks so. The public bloody love me. And he's just... It's impossible. Yes. I mean, why is it that he can laugh and flirt and joke and then... Oh. Doesn't that kill you? He doesn't really do that stuff with me. Yes, he does. 
Oh. Of course. Of course. Do you feel the same? You've lost me. Your Majesty, the Honourable Miss Alice Templeton. Hiya. His Majesty won't be a minute. Yeah. Every inch the king, sir. Miss Templeton. What do you think? All the girls will scream. And all the boys are going to go wild over you. You look stunning. Thank you. Uh, do you want a beer? Uh, yeah. OK. You saw the papers? Yeah. Neil's mortified. Well, so am I. Bugged up his big day. Such silly nonsense. Yeah. But I did kiss you. Well, they're doing the conga downstairs. I've never been so popular. <laughs> I try my best. Oh, you should kiss me more often. Are you ready for tonight? Yeah, why not? It's just a game, isn't it? Yeah, it's all a game. Are you enjoying it? Not much. Because, I mean, I can, I can carry on if you want, unless it's too awkward for no, you. No, look, I, I like having you around. But you need someone else. Oh, yeah, because these days I can just, well, I'll just pop round the corner to the pub, go on the pool, shall I? At least you, you know, you know me. You, you get all this bollocks, the charade. Someone else, who in the hell would that be? I don't really fancy waiting around to watch you work that one out. Yeah, OK. OK, look. We'll, we'll do tonight, and then I'll, um... I'll do something insensitive, and you can be the heroic, wronged fiancé. Rich. I'm not coming tonight. You can make up whatever story you want. Ali. I just... I don't even know why you're bothering with stories when it's so obvious. What is? You idiot. It's Abby. Hello. You off out? Hmm. I'm a late replacement for Fatty Templeton. She blew it. Mm, she got fed up with it all. She walked out. Well, good for her. Now, who needs it? Don't you ever... What? Well, don't you ever want... Want to be king? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Well, look at Rich. <laughs> I absolutely don't want a piece of that. But if you had to? If he died. Uh, well then, my darling sister, it's all yours. <laughs> I know my limits. I'll see you. Well, Daddy will be pleased at least, you and I. A bit like that. Do mm. he as he can't find a date? You'll find someone. You will. 
You'll find someone who cares about you as you really need them to. Stop the car. I'm getting out. Ellie, I'm sorry. Can you do it without me? I'm just... Just be radiant for me, will you? What? What are you doing? Get me back to the palace. Kiss me. I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this and you... Yeah, because if, if you felt something and I felt something back, it would be a lot of trouble. Yes, sir. Because a king and a member of his household, it's, you know, it's not allowed. Yes, sir, and I'm And it sorry. breaks all the rules that this family has carefully set up over a thousand years. And we only stay here, up here above you lot, because it doesn't allow such things. You never, never risk damaging the fantasy. We're untouchable. I mean, we can't show that we're normal, human. Destroys the myth, do you see? Chosen by God. A king and his APS. It's laughable. And I'm not. They won't. They won't let me be normal. It's how we're bred. <laughs> I'm right. Yeah. It's impossible. Yes, sir. It's impossible. 